Hello, welcome to episode 15 of our Let's Play Football Manager 22 series. We are currently in our first season managing Sheffield Wednesday. In our previous episode, this happens far too much. And if we score now, it's a sacrifice. <laughs> it's a sacrifice. It's a, um, oh, what's the word? After all that whinging. Oh. If you missed that episode, go check out info above link or if you're new to the series go check below in the video description to the playlist link so that you can watch them all from the start in today's episode we are getting to the business end of the season where we go through for january transfer deadline day and then we show you a couple of key games if you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content on football manager i would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos right let's get fm in It's that time of year, 31st of January. It is transfer deadline day. Quiet transfer deadline day expected. A couple of players, so Dominic Wilf has been linked with Valencia, 3.4 million, and Liam Palmer to Doncaster for 150k. To be fair, if he went for that, he's out of contract. Am I looking to buy anyone? No, not really, but I thought we best run through it just in case something happens. So we've got 14 hours left. Right, we've had £150,000 offer from, is it Preston? We yeah, accept his contract's going to expire. So we might as well get a little bit of cash for him. 11 hours remaining. And that's it, Liam Palmer has left the club. I mean, I've never rated him highly, but I've rated him because he's a Chef Wednesday boy. Yeah, time for the club and himself to just go in a new direction, right? Barry Bannon isn't happy. Of course he's not happy. He's one of the leaders with Hutchinson. See how he is. I want to talk about him. I don't know why. Yeah, he wanted to leave. He's not prepared to let go. Come on, Bannon. At the moment, you might struggle getting in a team. I mean, you have been playing well, but you've been out injured and we've been winning, so he's not happy. I think that's it. I think that is it. I mean, we knew that Dominic Iofa was rumoured. Would I sell him for 3.3 million? Probably. I'd probably try and push for four, six hours. Transfer window is more exciting when you've got money, right? Or if you need players, all of my team's playing well. So I know next season I will need to bring in some players. Hopefully not too many loans, but I need to bring in better quality. I know that. Four hours remaining. And I think that is it. So I'm going to conclude my transfer business and move on. And we're done. So Lewis Gibson got in team of four week. And Lewis Wing came second in January's player of the month. Gibson won young player of the month. Well done, Gibson. Let's congratulate him there. And we've won player of the month. Amazing. I mean, win ratio 100%, right? Played 4 1 4. And we've been Sunderland. Shrewsbury was up there at that time. Where is Shrewsbury now? Oh, wow. They dropped off since then. Sunderland's on really, really good form. They're flying up for the moment. Draw, win, win, win. And then obviously our six point against Ipswich. Yeah, really, really good month happy with that and obviously my board is happy as well right our next game is against Wigan at home we are currently top of the table fair enough we have played one more game but I mean last video I was saying oh we've got a game in hand we've got a game in hand we played that game in hand and we drew to Oxford one all and then we played three days later and we won 3-1 against Burton away now we're playing three days later against Wigan it's literally three days three days three days three days it's gonna be non-stop and we just basically just need to keep on winning to or remain unbeaten just to really keep our points totally in up and we could win the league now that I'm actually top I feel like a winner right we are going for our home formation which is a bit more short passing tick attacker style uh, we, I've made three changes from our last game where we beat Burton 3-1. Jack Hunt, Hutchinson and Bannon are in and Iolfa, Gibson and Lawongo are out. Iolfa and Gibson are out just because they're fitness, they need a bit of a rest. And Lawongo, because if his form has dropped, funny enough that uh, he's signed a new contract, two-year deal, and his form dropped off. But Bannon goes in there and we basically moved Dennis down into that uh, into that box to box midfield role and put Bannon into the DLP. Gregory can bury through. It's breaking my line. Oh, good save. Unlucky can bury. Corner. Bannon with the corner. Whips it in. Dunkley. Oh, unlucky. Wing. 
Come on, put pressure on them already early on. So it's looking good, but we haven't scored. That's the only concern I have. Yep, you've been unlucky, done nothing wrong. Corbino is not having a great game. Can bring on Windus. Wing, move across, and Dunkley. Great. Near post. Remember, set pieces. Set your set pieces to near post. All right, 10 minutes to play. We've got the vital goal. Can we maintain this? Four minutes injury time. Come on. See you out of the game. Yes. That is a vital win. Well done, boys. We came into it. Eh? Cholton had a better second half, but we maintained. We maintained our performance and finally got that goal. There it is. We are top of the table still. Yes, we do have Wimbledon and Ipswich breathing down our necks. Actually, Ipswich are five points behind us. So worst case scenario is Wimbledon wins and we drop down to second. All right, we are coming up to our Cholton game. It's going to be third versus fourth in the league. I'll let you know what happened because obviously last time I left you, we was top of the table. But before I do that, we've got a milestone with Peacock Farrell on verge of a milestone. Obviously, for competition, record competition for the club is 17. He said I've got 14. It'd be interesting to see if he can do that. And if we just quickly take you through what's happened whilst we was doing some games in the background. And as you can see, there's an orange, red and a green. So literally, we had a traffic light way of emotion. So Rotherham, it was always going to be a tough game against Rotherham. Um, but up there, obviously, as we know in real life, uh, they did really really well we drew to them at home to be fair we was the better team our players performed well we was the better team we just couldn't get a goal just could not get a goal one of those games and then we played against Doncaster again we was the better team but what Doncaster did is uh, this Akana Burry actually saying that I want to scout him so he did look good at on the break for this scout yes and add to shortlist. Yeah, so he literally had two chances, turned my defender, and I think it was Dunkley twice, and got for two goals. Again, we was for better performers. We was winning 1-0. We quickly turned that back and then 78th minute, and we just couldn't get it back. So it was so close. It was one of those frustrating games that you just knew you could win this game. And then we played against Fleetwood town who i think are bottom of the table and we've been in three now very comfortable they got a man sent off we was winning two nil before they got man sent off and then we finished off in fact seventh minute i'd made from the doncaster game i made eight changes as you can tell i was not happy with my team yeah and i think i've decided that even playing away i'm just gonna play my ticker tucker i get better results we play much better for it whereas gen gen and i just feel that we're just piling up so much pressure and we just don't have defenders for it and that's where I can see our weakness. So just bringing back a few bigger performers. So I brought back in Dunkley, Gibson, Bannon, Gregory, and resting out Hutchinson, Agbonto, Homa, uh, Wing, and Patson. Patson scored last game. He hasn't scored for a while, but Gregory's been on form lately, so he deserves to come back in. Gibson, Dunkley playing out from the back. Up to Gregory, nope. Charlton, oh no, we've won it back to one go. Dennis, Bannon, Bannon finds Luongo, great run by Luongo, and Gregory, surely, oh, post, post, now Charlton, come on, counter-attack, see if we was on our Gen Gen press, they probably would have got through, All right, Charlton, goal kick, oh, it's a bit scrappy in that middle, Leco for Charlton, down for wing, and Johnson's got the ball, just kick for ball then, Hopefully, pick up Farrell, out from back, oh, Dunkley, Hunt, Adrian, Bannon, Beautiful play. Gone. Through ball. Oh. Windass. Come on. Played well in training. After being criticised. Gibson. Bannon. Dennis. That's Gibson. I don't know where we're going to pass it. Windass. Out wide to Johnson. They're really quick on us though. But we've got quick passing. Oh. Unlucky Windass. Right. Charlton's got ball for ball. Lavelle. Pierce. Pierce takes the ball forward. Dobson. That's Pierce. This long ball through. Washington turns our defenders. Leco with the ball. Oh, great challenge. Penalty? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. All right, let's see if they score this. I want to see that again. That looked like a great challenge. Because the ball flew off. Yeah, I want to see that. Turns. Leco. I 
I thought that was a great challenge. It was a bit behind. It was a great turn by Washington. Great rumble. And to be fair, Johnson should never have. I still don't think that's a penalty. What do you guys think? Is this a penalty? So we're going to watch them one more time. I mean, they've scored it. We're going to do anything about it. But it's from behind. But he got the ball. Got the ball. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Into Windows. Good control. And of course, he's going to miss it. Oh, yeah, I mean, that actually went up because they scored that goal. So, I mean, still don't think it's a penalty. Be interesting what's said after. Bannon with a free kick. Uh, oh, unlucky. Oh, that was a close tackle. Oh, ball back in. Come on up, Bannon. No, couldn't find near post this time. Windows. Oh, Bannon back to Bannon. In. Oh, unlucky, Patson. Uh, encourage. Come on, team. Gibson. Vance Canberry. Was that offside? It's going to be offside, isn't it? So many disallowed goals. So many. Canberry Hunt. Ball in. Nothing. It's time. Gibson. Can you get ball in? Go on, Gibson. Ball in. Canberry. Oh, Patson. Can you find it? No, he keeps it in. And nothing. Why well, show me this highlight? Let's watch the now scores. Iolfa runs ball forward. Got a minute left of injury time. Patterson, can he find it? Yes! Can get in. I mean, you look at the stats. We deserve something. Look at that. 66% possession. 13 shots, 6 on target. Today, 6 3, 34% possession. You're telling me that we should have lost that game? 92% passes completed. Amazing. 100% tackles won. 81% headers won. Our average rating, much better. And that shouldn't have been a penalty. In my eyes, anyway. You were unlucky today. I'm going to go with sympathy for that, boys. Now, I want to see what media says about the penalty. Are we going to bring something up? Because I will criticise the ref. Can you take heart from the fact that Ipswich also slipped up today? Uh, we wanted to win, but at least we're not giving up ground to Ipswich and Fredlin. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. After a referee and performance that will generate generate plenty of discussion how do you think it reflects on standards of officiating yeah i want to hear that negative one on there but it wasn't really apt for penalty it was more just in for thing itself so what's next on for us so we've got two months left march and april and season's finished obviously season which is yeah 30th of april so we've literally got then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games left. But we've got the semi-final against Arsenal under 23s. I believe that's going to be my next game. I show you in Cambridge. I play in background. Gillian background. Cheltenham in background, and then top AFC Wimbledon will be so Arsenal under 23s and Wimbledon will be shown next. Looks like we've got some easier games coming up, which could bode well for us in the table next time I speak to you and yeah so we are five points now behind top it's amazing how quickly that gap can just either shrink or get big so I'm not worried about that 10 games there's a lot of games left and three points away from automatic promotion push okay it's still looking good for us